This morning is one of the days that really brings home the meaning of promotion to Brentford Football Club. 12 months ago, the Bees entertained Exeter City on the Sunday before Christmas. Today, it's London rivals West Ham United on their first league visit here since 1954. Both teams in the top half of the first division, Brentford 12th and West Ham 3rd, and both are on form. Brentford won their last six games and reached the Anglo-Italian Cup semi-finals. Today they welcome back skipper Keith Millen from injury. He missed the midweek game against Bari. Simon Ratcliffe come back from suspension. And Neil Smiley and Kevin Godfrey are on the bench. West Ham bring a host of uh, household names to Griffin Park. Most uh, well-known probably their forward line, Clive Allen and Trevor Morley. Ludet Miklosko is uh, in goal. Morley returns to the squad after being suspended in midweek. And new signing Canadian international forward Alex Bunbury starts the game on the bench. Brentford's second uh, longest serving place is alongside me this morning. That's Bob Booker currently out with injury. Bob, how do you see this morning's game going? Well, it's going to be a difficult one. It's going to be a good test for us today. West Ham haven't been down here, like I say, for 39 years. So they've got a lot of experience in their team. But we're at home and uh, I think we're a good match at home. So it should be a good game. And Bennett straight away. Scored by Martin. It's a Brentford throw. Forward by Martin. Allen. Luscombe. Hits first time. Not a bad effort there from Lee Luscombe. Took the ball from Joe Allen. He had a first time effort. Definitely worth the shot there, Bob. Yeah, that was great play by Joe Allen. He, his vision was unbelievable. Before the ball even came to him, he knew, he knew where Lee Luscombe was. And uh, if that had been on Lee's left foot, you know, he might have hit the target. But a good, a good effort. Gail. Manuel, Millen, Manuel beats Robson, Luscombe, and Martin shields it back to McGlosko, Allen's in there, Joe Allen and Martin made a great saving tackle there, great persistence from Allen Bob. That was great, I mean like Alvin Martin there, he was struggling really, all of a sudden he realised that he couldn't pass back and uh, at this stage of the game, you can't give up the ghost, and Joe's had a, had, had a good effort there. Mm. Alvin Martin. Kai Allen. Gets it across again for Robson. And great save by Benson with his legs to the first corner. Good play by West Ham. Martin Allen. Bishop. Bishop shoots. Great save from Benstead. Bishop ran at the B's defence. Benstead tipped it away. Bob. Oh, that's a good move. It started right from the right back position. And we're just on about the way they knocked the ball around. And that time it came good right from the back to the front. And Benno's pulled up a great save at the end. But he couldn't have held it. I'll tell him about that later. Now Breaker. Touch by Bishop. Guy Allen. And not stay miss hit that, but Buddy close to the first goal. Yeah, he did. As soon as the ball came in, I, I could see that Clive, because Clive does love a volley, and he looked like he was shaping up. And uh, like you say, he didn't connect that well. And I think Benno, Benno thought he was going to really connect, and it nearly floated over the top, but luckily it cleared it. Comes out to uh, Morley. Tackle by Smiley, well played. Now Luscombe. Big sticks. Luscombe goes inside. Still Luscombe, good effort, a good save, great play from Luscombe. Yeah, he worked it well there, he was always trying to come inside and get it onto his left foot, which he prefers. And uh, a little bit more bend on it, I think he might be able to squeeze into the far post around Ludo. Touch from Dix. Now Potts again. Morley. And I think Smiley fouled him after the ball had gone there. Guy Vallon. Bunbury, Breaker, and the ball hit for Keane, it's right across Morley, really should have buried that ball. Manuel, flick on by Godfrey, and Mikosko and Smiley, Smiley just switched to the left there, it fell for him, it's a bit awkward wasn't it? It was awkward, let's say it fell from it, just bounced up a little bit too high and he's only a little fellow at the best of time, so he couldn't quite get the right connection over the ball. And 
Martin surely climbing on Allen, but the referee not giving it. Here's Godfrey. Statham. Useful cross. Missed it. Will he fall for Smiley? Great save. Smart. Oh, I thought it was going back to Emmanuel. Gale. Just wouldn't go in, Bob. Yeah, it's a good strike by Neil. It's a good connection. Uh, he's hit it low. Possibly would have been preferred to go into the far corner. And Ludo's, you know, just tucked down to his right-hand side and powered it away. But it dropped nicely for Neil on his right foot, and uh, he's got a great strike on it. Gale. Millen. Gone to Bunbury. And referee, that's the end of the game. Final score. Brentford nil, West Ham nil. Final word for you, Bob. Yeah, it's uh, not one of the world's greatest games, but a uh, bit of a stalemate. But, uh, you know, we've, we've got a point out of it. We can push on towards uh, the Derby game now. West Ham will be a bit more pleased than what we are. You know, hopefully we wanted the three points. The final score, Brentford nil, West Ham United nil, with the Bees extending their unbeaten run to seven on the trot.